everyone. This is Anna from All DIY Crafts, and today we're going to do a little nursing mug. I practice on these dollar store mugs, um, and I, I actually bought it by the case, so I'm going to be doing quite a few of these in different types of um, decorating um, before I start um, putting this design on a much nicer mug. Today we're just going to do a, a very basic glitter mug with some vinyl on top of it. The first thing I did was I went ahead and I taped off with electrical tape. Electrical tape seems to cover better than painter's tape and I did actually had to do two layers here um, because this is kind of thick and I just wanted to make sure it didn't go into the part where um, it would go into the cup. So there's a little pigtail here. I did not cover this bottom part here. I'm going to actually be covering that with um, glitter and epoxy, etc. So the first thing I do is I put get the cup, I grab a rag and just some basic alcohol that you get from your drugstore. And I just put a little bit on there. And I just go ahead and wipe off the mug and that's it and we're just gonna let that dry for about five minutes and then we will go ahead and do the rest okay and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint um, this cup white so I'll make sure you can see it I have a box outside and we're gonna go ahead and start spraying we're gonna do short bursts First, just so you don't get any drips. We're going to be covering the cup with glitter, so if you miss some spots, it'll be fine. And don't forget the bottom. Okay, and I'm not too worried about that spot right there. Now we're going to go ahead and let this dry. It's going to take about, I would say, about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so this is now dry. I went ahead and I just kind of put it on some paper here. I have some glitter. This is just some regular glitter that I, I bought from Michaels. Um, and this is the Loctite Spray. This is the 100 Light. I also have a regular cup here and I have my gloves. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray it with some Loctite and then we're gonna cover it with some glitter. Thank you. 
Okay, so this has had enough time to dry now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, uh, Rust-Oleum, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, I'm outside. I'm kind of in a weird position. Clear. And I'm going to go ahead and seal this cup. Again, I'm, it's a little windy here, so I'm going to use this box a little bit. And I do remember to press that glitter down a little bit before you do this sealing. So this is going to seal, this is going to set for another 20 to 30 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and apply our epoxy. Okay, now before I mix my silicone, I was using these medicine cups and I was going through a lot of them, and it was just it seemed to me to be a big waste. So what I ended up doing was I bought a little silicone um, cup set. I actually trialed it on those little silicone um, cupcake holders to see how it ended up when it dried and it, you were able to just peel it off. So what I did was I, um, in using the Amazing Alumilite, I marked one A and one B, and then um, I, this will be where they both go to get mixed. And then I have silicone sticks instead of popsicle sticks. Again, it just peels off. Again, I marked one A and I marked one B. I don't know that it really matters because once you mix it up and when it dries, you can just peel it off. And then I have one that's marked both and I kind of went over the logo here and that's why it's all uh, messed up. Instead of using uh, going through a lot of gloves, I'm going to be testing out these silicone brushes today. I'm still going to be wearing gloves, of course, but I just wanted to see um, how this works. So it's going to be my my little experiment for myself. I am using a turner that I got called Color Time, a silicone mat, and I cover my surface here with um, just a cheap uh, placemat that's reusable that I get from, you can get from any grocery store, party store for just a couple of dollars. And that way if anything accidentally gets onto your counter, especially the epoxy, it's pretty much covered. I covered this base because I don't want it to get covered with epoxy and again since it's silicone I can pretty much just wipe it down. Well, how I measured these to make sure I got the exact amount of each is I did take a, a medicine cup. You can take one of the cups. I think this comes with two or three of them. This was actually off of I think children's Tylenol or children's Motrin and I measured a specific amount like 5 cc's, 10 cc's, what have you. I put water in it. I poured it in here and then I marked it, okay? I then took the same exact water and I poured it in here and I marked it again. I don't know if you can see the markings. So that way they're kind of exact. Okay, so that's how I measured it and that way I'm hoping that I'll be saving on having to use these plastic containers a lot. Anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll start mixing our epoxy. I'll get my gloves on. The cup is almost ready. It's been um, out there drying for about 40 minutes now. And what I'm going to do is get some gloves on, then we'll go ahead and start mixing. Okay, so before you start with this, um, go ahead and get it on your turner, get your cup on your turner, and actually start spinning. Because you don't want stuff on your hands and then mess with your switch over here. So I've poured my equal parts, and what's nice about these silicone cups is even though I marked the outside with the Sharpie, I can see those lines up from the inside. So it works really well. So what I'll do is I'm going to mix a little bit. I didn't really leave a lot of room for me to mix here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix really slowly for about two minutes each. And then I will mix them together in the bigger cup. Now this comes with several cups, so you can make one of these A and B and then pour it all into another one. Um, which I'll, is something I'll probably do. They are graduated, so you could actually do that. Uh, the lower ones are not. I believe they're about 15 cc's each. So we will go ahead and speed up this video. And we will go ahead and mix everything together here. Okay, so we're going to be mixing this for about three to five minutes. And it's a little cloudy to start. And then what we're going to do is once it starts to get clear again, that's going to be one of our indicators that it's almost ready. 
Our turner's going, so we'll be ready to go as soon as we get it on there. Okay, so I just ran my fingers down it with the gloved hand and it looks like the silicone brush pretty much got it all. The only problem I have is maybe towards on the bottom, it was kind of hard to um, brush it on there and I think it's because I didn't mix enough um, epoxy. So I just kind of used the brush um, and I kind of just made sure I had enough down there. We're gonna wait about 20 minutes and then we're gonna take off our electrical tape and then we're gonna let this spin for about four hours, four or five hours. Um, until it's dry. So we will be back. Okay, so our cup is now off the turner. It's dry. It's actually been about 12 to 15 hours. It is a little bumpy because this is um, a chunky glitter. It's not really fine glitter. So what I learned, I learned this from another YouTuber. If I can find her link, she did a live not too long ago. And she said, you know, you take your sandpaper, you use Dawn and warm water and that way that you don't get powder everywhere, which I thought that's an awesome idea because this part, we should be wearing a mask. So I'm gonna be putting my mask and gloves on and then we're gonna go ahead and sand. Okay, so I went ahead and felt it. It feels pretty smooth. There is some ridges in here, but I'm gonna get that with our second coat of epoxy. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just wash this off with some water to get all the soap off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry just for a few minutes. And then we'll go ahead and start applying our vinyl. I use um, Oracle 651 or 631 vinyl because you're gonna actually be epoxying it in anyway, so it, it shouldn't move. So let me go ahead and wash the cup off and we will be back. And for this part, um, this particular nurse uh, didn't want any credentials, she just wanted the name Diane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure um, what would be a good length for a name here. It's about four inches. And I probably wouldn't wanna go above maybe one and a half to one and three quarters inches. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna go to our design space. Okay, so here we are in design space, and the font I think I use for most of the nurses is Quirky Script. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit text. I'm gonna write in Diane. She doesn't want any, any other wording or lettering. We'll just do it in white, and I'm gonna pull it down just a bit. So uh, right about there, it looks like you can see here where it says 4.023 inches by 1.3 inches, and that's about what we wanted. The only thing we need to make sure is that once we type in quirky script, well, type in Q, I guess I can only do, let's see what comes up, there it is. Okay, so as you can see, all the letters are there. They're a little far space, so what I'm gonna go here to letter spacing, and we're gonna fix this first, and then we're gonna readjust our size. not sure I'm liking so when this happens what we can do is ungroup and move it here to try to stay on your lines and I guess we can move that one just a smidge more Select them all. Let's enlarge it to back to our four. To about 1.4. That's fine. Now we're going to make the lettering white. The fact that it says black is not a big deal. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to weld it together. That way it will not separate and you won't see those lines in between the letters here where they connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit to make it. And then I'm going to go turn on my Cricut 
and I can tell what on my map, this is how I'm gonna be placing it. So we'll be right back and we will go ahead and cut. Okay, we are mixing both. I'm using the bigger cups this time. And I have been mixing these for about two minutes and then I'm gonna pour them both into the same one. I think they're about ready. So we will pour in B first. And what's nice about these is that I can get every drop out because it's not a rigid plastic. I can get just about every drop out. And again, as I showed you before, I do have them marked and I can see it on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to stir this for about three to five minutes until it's clear. Okay, and we're back. So I've been stirring this for about five minutes. I have my heat gun available too, and we're just going to start brushing it on. And this is one of the reasons why I already have the a tumbler turner turning so that I don't have stuff on my hands because you still get stuff on your hands and a lot of times when I'm uh, mixing this I, I learned a really cool trick from um, I also make soap and uh, when you're mixing your lies and stuff I actually will stir this under the hood of my oven with the exhaust fan on and I actually keep it on you probably hear it in the background we're very kind of close to the oven right now and I did mix a little um, more than I needed, and it was just because I wanted to make sure that I got her cup done. I also have another project in the works. And this may need one more coat, I'm not sure. Chunky glitter um, can take a, a, up to like two to three coats. Um, I usually do about three. I'm only going to show you in this video too. I'm also going to show you um, a finished cup so you don't have to wait for this one to finish because I did the exact same blue with the same font but this time it was, it was for me and I will show you the same that we put on it and the nurses at work really enjoyed it so I'm going to be doing quite a few of them. Just kind of neat nurses gifts. These are dollar cups, and I'll tell you, because we can't have, we have to have spill-proof containers near our computers, because uh, we're all computerized charting, and it's just great because I, I was kind of leery about these dollar silver stainless steel tumblers. I just didn't know, but you know what? For little gifts, they do really great. If you're gonna charge, though, I would definitely, um, step up the game and go for more expensive ones for sure. I just, this is what I get for practicing. Um, these mugs are a dollar each and that way if you're going to be learning um, any of these other techniques, it's kind of best to mess up on these before you mess it up on a more expensive tumbler. I think we're good. We have full coverage there. And I can actually, I don't need to run my hand here. I know I have full coverage. I can see it. It's pretty nice and shiny. Now, um, I do advise putting some kind of mat underneath everything just because you never know where something ends up. And like I said, this mat will last um, for quite a while you'd be surprised I'll find stuff that I actually spilled on it which would have gotten on my counter or my desk and I wouldn't have known about it so I believe this one's going to take one more coat 
And don't forget, after 20 to 30 minutes, you need to take this tape off. Okay, so I think we're good there. So we're just going to let that turn and put this here. The best thing to do is to wipe these down immediately. Um, this is great because whatever's left in here, I can just peel out once it's dry. And But uh, A and B will not get hard. I don't even think they ever get hard. Um, you would wipe it out with a paper towel. This is a hand that's got a whole bunch of stuff on it. My other hand's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun. It's just a regular heat gun from Wagner. And I'm just going to very quickly run through it. I'm not going to stop on any points. I just want to make sure I get any air bubbles out from this Diane here. Okay, and so this is my cup, and it's a saltier than normal saline. It's just an IV fluid that we give a lot, and it was it's just a really cute saying. And then here is the back. Um, I did use, I believe this is quirky script, and then a regular block font. I used a finer glitter, so you can kind of see there's a little bit of a difference there. But I just kind of wanted to show you that how this turns out, and it's really nice. It's a slide top, again, dollar store. You can order it online. They'll deliver it. It's worth it for you guys to use these and test and practice uh, before you move on to the, the more expensive tumblers. I, I find these to be really great. Everyone loves these. Um, like I said, as nurses, we have to have spill-proof containers, and this works really well. So if you have uh, anyone in your family, friends, or anyone that has a type of computer station at work, or just maybe even kids and they don't want stuff being spilled. I would start out with these for sure. Okay, well this is Anna from All DIY Crafts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a likes and a thumbs up and we will see you again.